Undoubtedly one of the most curious characters in Mario's film is Luma Lee. A little blue Luma who defies expectations with his dark and nihilistic reflections on life and death. In this video, we will be talking about this character and its dark origin. How does a blue Luma end up losing its sanity? Or will it be the only sane person in this world? Today we are going to talk about Loma Lee, and the reason why it turned insane. And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. To understand the origin of this strange character, we must go to its origins in Mario games. Luma Lee is a character that comes from Super Mario Galaxy, a game released in 2007 for the Nintendo Wii console. In this game, Mario embarks on a space adventure to rescue Princess Peach from the claws of Bowser, who plans to conquer the universe using the power of the stars. Something similar to the story we saw in the Super Mario movie. In Super Mario Galaxy, Mario encounters the Lumis, a kind of magical stars that are capable of transforming into different objects and celestial beings. These entities are powerful, so we can already understand what Bowser was doing with one of them. The Lumis are ruled by Rosalina, a cosmic princess who lives in the Comet Observatory, and guides Mario on his mission to save the universe. The Lumis play an important role in the game, as they help Mario overcome obstacles and solve puzzles in his quest. This is also important to understand, because having Lumis helping Mario could turn them into Bowser's enemies, and perhaps the Lumalee species have already had battles with Bowser. Lumalee is a unique Luma in Super Mario Galaxy, due to its role as a merchant and its distinctive blue color. Unlike other Lumis that join Mario on his adventure and provide him with special abilities, Lumalee appears at specific points in the game, usually before battles against bosses, and offers Mario the opportunity to purchase useful items. This could also be the reason why Bowser had him imprisoned, as Loma Lee was a merchant who helps Bowser's enemies obtain artifacts to defeat him. Could it be that Loma Lee is really an artifact trader who is an enemy of Bowser? By understanding its history in the games, as well as its behavior in the movie, we can understand its origin and how it ended up in this situation. In a galaxy far, far away, there was a little blue Luma named Luma Lee. Luma Lee was different from the other Lumas. While her companions joined together to have great and exciting adventures, Luma Lee had a different role, she was a trader of magical artifacts. Although his work was lonely, Luma Lee always had a positive attitude, and was willing to help people who were fighting against injustice. Luma Lee possibly became a very important resource for Bowser's enemies, to whom Luma Lee sold these artifacts. One day, while Luma Lee was traveling through space in search of new and powerful artifacts, he was captured by Bowser's forces. The evil King Koopa had discovered that Luma Lee was helping in the fight against him. Therefore, Bowser decided to keep Luma Lee captive to prevent it from supporting his enemies. Something happened during the time Luma Lee was a merchant, just as we saw in the Mario movie. And I think what changed Luma Lee was the isolation in the prison. Confined in a dark dungeon, Luma Lee began to lose hope. It was far from its friends, its beloved Rosalina, and its home at the Comet Observatory. As the days passed, Luma Lee's thoughts became increasingly dark and nihilistic. It began to question the purpose of life and the inevitability of death. The attitude of hopelessness in this situation gradually turns Lumalee's fear into a nihilistic and cynical attitude towards life. The other prisoners say that Lumalee is crazy, but she is really a character who has spent a long time in isolation, who has seen the abyss, and the abyss has looked back at it. King Penguin says it's cute but hints that something is wrong with its head. When Luigi wants to find a way to escape, Luma Lee says, there is no escape, the only hope is the sweet relief of death. We even see how this one gets happy when it gets close to the lava, because it feels like it will all be over. While Luma Lee languished in prison, 
Little did Lumali know that Mario and his friends were planning to rescue Luigi, with whom Lumali happened to coincide. They infiltrated the place and finally reached the dungeon where Lumali was being held. Now Lumali is completely different from the way it was before being caught. Perhaps it will no longer be the salesman it once was, and spends its days philosophizing about life. However, there is another perspective we can see from this character, and that is the possibility that in searching for artifacts, Loma Lee has found something that has given this character an ability that no one else has in this world. Loma Lee knows they are in a Mario Brothers movie. It also knows that it is an animated character and that its life is meaningless. How do we know this? At the end of the Super Mario movie, after Loma Lee spent the entire movie spouting nihilistic phrases about the unimportance of existence, we see it break the fourth wall and speak to the audience. It says that since the movie is over, there is only them and the infinite void left. Afterwards, plays the overworld theme from Super Mario Bros. with the saxophone, before the credits begin. But the strange thing about that comment, is that Loma Lee not only spoke to the audience, but was aware that what we saw was a movie. This of course explains its behavior. Loma Lee knows they are in an animated movie, that nothing makes sense, and the way to escape is just what it told Luigi. If we think about it carefully, it's a pretty disturbing thing to have been included in this movie, but it gives it an interesting backstory for the adults who saw the movie, and who are left wondering, why were we shown the nihilistic philosophy, and the breaking of the fourth wall with this character? We would like to see it again in the second movie and be told more about this character's transition. But tell me your thoughts on all of this. Why do you think Loma Lee went crazy? Do you think this is the character who can really see what's going on? And for more videos of your favorite movies and series, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You're on the Oasis Geek.